Saturday afternoon in Columbia, the South Carolina Gamecocks won their sixth consecutive game and their third via the run rule as they knock off visiting Ohio by a score of eight to nothing in six innings. Alongside Dr. Megan Matthew Bunning, I'm Brad Muller. Appreciate you joining us. Well, the Gamecocks had a little bit of everything today. Plenty of offense, but of course it started with some great pitching from Jessica Elliott. Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't ask anything better from Jessica Elliott in the circle. I mean, she didn't give up any runs, had a few hits here and there, but I tell you what, her defense and her offense really came strong behind her. Certainly did. Had plenty of offensive support, and the Gamecocks got it going in the third inning. Alexis Mack, the freshman, legs out the infield single, then the All-American Elaney Page. It's her second home run of the year to start the scoring for the Gamecocks. South Carolina had only three home runs all season long prior to this one. Well, they're going to get a lot more than that today. Freshman Kennedy Clark hits her second of the year in the third. And here's some defense from Kenzie McGuire, the shortstop, flashing some leather. Gamecocks would add another in the top of the fourth, the bottom of the fourth. Ainsley Hart, her first home run of the year to lead off the fourth inning. Gamecocks would keep it going in the fifth. Again, it's Kennedy Clark, her second home run of the day. A two-run shot here for her third home run of the season. And the Gamecocks led six to nothing. And then in the sixth inning, Gamecocks a little squibber there. Gamecocks would get another run off the bat of Kristen White. And then it was Tierra Duffy, the walk-off single to end the game. And the Gamecocks win it eight to nothing as they go to six and one on the season. For Dr. Megan Matthews Bunning, I'm Brad Muller.